Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I've got a review of the acrylic marker set from Artix. It's 32 pen set. I've had this since I think about February. It came in a gift from them. They sent a Lunar New Year gift to me and probably other product reviewers. Um, they're also affiliated with the Paul Rubens company and I've reviewed many products from Paul Rubens and Artix over the years. And um, they sent me a present. So this was in there and I thought this would be really fun to review because I've used it a bit. I've used them for accents on paintings and I just finished up using this all start to finish in a painting without any other media except for a little bit of white gouache and um, I want to tell you about them. I want to review them because some things are good, some things are bad and I just want to let you know what this, what's up with this product before you go and buy it so that you know what to expect. So this it is touted as an acrylic marker pen set and it comes in a flat box that is I keep the box for storage because it is a good idea to store any of these types of dual ended markers flat um, and I also store my acrylic paint pens flat too just to keep the tips from drying out uh, it comes with this little card that has a color swatch with the names and numbers as far as I know there is no open stock availability to these products so if you ran out um, you would need to order a whole set if you want this particular product again which is actually Actually kind of a shame because these pens are kind of great. If you're used to a Tombow um, marker, like the old-fashioned Tombow markers, dual brush markers, these feel so similar to those pens. Um, from the flexibility to the nib to the size of the bullet nibs, they're just very, um, they're very similar to the Tombow markers, I have to say that. So one thing I thought was really interesting when I first got these was I was expecting I would have to go through and activate all of these pens because any other acrylic markers that I've ever had, I've had to activate. But these, you didn't. These were already ink in the nibs, and then I thought, oh no, these are going to be, these are going to be a problem. These are going to be, um, these are going to be dried out. But as soon as I used them, no, they had a beautiful um, flexibility, just like a Tombow marker would. I could get some really nice brush strokes. Then you get the bullet tip. It's not a super fine bullet tip. Um, it's probably like a one millimeter, I would say, or maybe a 0.7. It's it's pretty thick. Um, so I'm like, wow, I don't have to activate these? Wonderful, I can get to working as soon as I, I have these. Now, I started to use these on some paintings as I was working um, as I was kind of like finishing up a watercolor or a gouache and I would just go in there like I would a normal like a pasta pen or whatnot and add a bit of a um, add a bit of a highlight but one thing I noticed is that they're not very opaque so I was using the white and let's I'm just gonna put a swipe of white here underneath that white swatch now I did find if you go over and you do like a second layer you can get a brighter more opaque look um, but that's not really what I was looking for in acrylic pen, the way I've always used them, but I really love the nibs and I love the way they worked, so I wanted to use them more and get a good feeling for what they were all about. So this is the painting that I just completed with them and I'm really pleased with how they came out. I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I was figuring, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with these because I love the brush tips and then I'll just work really fast to blend them out as I need to. But the thing is, you don't need to work really fast because, friends, these are not acrylic paint. I don't know why they call these acrylic markers because they are not acrylic. Um, so let me just take the swatch here and let me just use a wet brush because these are gonna blend out. And on the website, on the Amazon, they're sold on Amazon. On Amazon they say that they're permanent and they say you can use these on ceramics, you can use these on, um, you can use these on rocks, you can use these on glass. But they definitely, and this is just cardstock, this is nothing fancy, they bleed out. If you have these on a mixed media paper or a watercolor paper, you're going to be able to lift them up almost completely. Now, this swatch has been dried for a few days, so it's not, it's not like a, um, like a fresh swatch. But look, I mean, just even on a porous material like cardstock that's not really sized, I'm still able to move that. I mean, it's not as, it's not as, um as strong as I was able to blend these out on a mixed media paper, but let's see, this has been drying. Let me just dry this with a heat tool and I will show you what I mean. But I think if you were to use this on glass, plastic, ceramic, I think on rocks you'd actually fray the tips of the markers and ruin them, but as an art medium, I would liken them more to like a, um, a gouache. So look at that, I mean, that's paint again. So you can see if you did this on glass or on, well let me just grab my, my little mason jar drink here. I mean it will probably show up, but um, 
let's do a light color. I mean, it shows up fine if you want to write like somebody's name for a party and be able to wash it off after. Yeah, that totally would work. But if you wanted to like, you know, decorate ceramics to give to somebody for a present, um, that's definitely going to wash off. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, this is what they look like on black. That's their coverage. This is what they look like on white. I think they're really gorgeous on white paper. That's why I decided to do marbles for my... Um, my painting with these to try them out but I don't think they're going to give you the coverage or the durability that you'd want if you're looking for say a Posca pen or something that's really designed to be opaque. So I did write a little list of pros and cons so I mean look how beautiful they blend out they're great for that they're like gouache in a pen and that's what I'm going to call them I'm not going to call them acrylic markers when I refer to these um, the pros would be you don't need to pump them you don't need to wait for them for the ink to flow they are ready to go out of the box they cost, um, I think the regular price is $30, but currently they're on sale. When I'm recording this, I don't know when this is when I'm going to publish this video, but like when I'm record when I'm recording this, it says the list price is $29.99. The price, uh, it's on sale for $21.99 right now, so it's $8 off. And then there's also an extra 5% coupon on Amazon. So for 32 colors. So for 32 colors, if you were paying full price, you'd pay just under a dollar a marker. If you're paying, uh, if you're getting them on sale, what, I think they'll be around 60 cents a marker or something, um, which I think is fair for these. I think I think around a dollar a marker is more than fair for these. They do, like like I said, they remind me so much of a Tombow marker. Now, something I do like about these is you can do like tip to tip blend, uh, not tip to tip, but like I could put in some green there and I could pick up the lighter green and I could blend out from there. So I think this would be really fun for like uh, card making or scrapbooking. They are acid free. I don't know about light fastness because there's no light fast information here. But um, if you're if it's a scrapbook, it's in a closed scrapbook or sketchbook, I wouldn't worry about it fading. Um, let's see, great flow, great brush nibs, nice color variety. I'll just show you my real swatches because I think that's a better that's a better look. Um, and acid free. They're really fun to work with. I, I didn't have any qualms. Once I realized that I could blend these with water after they were dried, because like it was like I started that blue marble and last yesterday and then I came back this morning and added water and it all reactivated. So um, as long as you're working on a sized paper, like a watercolor paper or mixed media paper, you're going to be able to blend into that. Even like, like this is marker paper. This is Artex marker paper and I was able to blend back into it. So um, really fun for an art medium. I don't think it would be that practical for like, um, for crafts that you're going to get wet or they're going to be washed. So cons, I would say not really waterproof, not 100% waterproof. Um, there's no light fastness or pigment information. So if you're going to paint something, that's another reason I wouldn't use it on like rocks because is it going to fade? Um, maybe if you painted a rock with it and then put like a UV varnish on it or a polyurethane or something, but I think the polyurethane might make it smear. Maybe not. Maybe if it's an oil-based polyurethane, it wouldn't. But still, I think the, the texture of a rock would just wreck the nib, so I wouldn't recommend that. They were showing it on canvas, like on fabric and canvas on the website. I don't think it's going to hold up to washing, though. So, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe if you're doing a project with kids and you want to decorate an apron or a baseball cap and you're not going to wash it, it would be fine. But I really don't think there's enough binder in this to... Um, to keep it from washing away and that's probably why they're it's it's able to flow like it does and why you don't have to reactivate it it's honestly like gouache in a pen um, so I mean I don't want to like say anything that's not true because they are sold as acrylic markers but in my experience of using acrylic based products these are not acrylic based products in my experience so I don't know maybe there's some acrylic in it and just not very much I'm not sure um, the coverage is not great as you can see it's okay it's okay, especially if you do two coats, but even there, that's two coats of white. You can see it's kind of, that's one coat of white. Let me bring that up a little bit. Okay, so you can see the top white is two coats, the bottom like swipe is one coat. I don't consider that great coverage when I'm looking at an acrylic or a, a product that's supposed to be acrylic. It just feels like a, like a poster paint kind of. Um, and they, the website says you can use it on glass, ceramic rocks, fabric, plastic, cardstock. I would say not anything you plan on washing um, and nothing rough. Like I wouldn't use it on fabric or rocks just for that. I think you'd destroy the nib. But if you want a medium, if you want the convenience of having like a gouache paint in a marker format, which isn't what these are sold for, it's great. It's great for that. So I like these more than I thought I would like these. I like these more than just a, a plain acrylic product because I have I have problems with acrylic paint pens. 
I don't use them enough to keep them running smoothly. With these, I put these on my shelf for like a month and touch them, picked them up, and they were all fine. They were all ready to go. You know, obviously cap them off after when you're not using them, but um, these were a lot of fun, a very expressive art medium. I wouldn't consider them to be a great paint medium for crafts, but uh, for artwork, yeah, they're a lot of fun. And I do recommend them for that source. But I don't recommend them if you're buying these as a waterproof acrylic marker and you want to use them that, for that purpose. So um, the way I like using them, I would give them 10 out, or maybe 9 out of 10 stars. As they're advertised, I would give them like 4 out of 10 stars because... I can see people buying this to do rock painting with their kids or um, something like that. These would be really good if you like to do like window painting, like a seasonal window painting. I mean, they're kind of small and you probably use them up pretty quickly, but like you can write on your, let's see if this dried yet. Yeah, like look, this is dry now. Like you're having a party, you could write everybody's name on their plastic cup or whatever and it's not gonna, it's not gonna wear off. But if I get my finger wet, if it's a pool party though, you know, not going to be great for a pool party, but like you could write on your glasses or even like a wine glass. If you're having a, a party, you could write your, your guest's name if you didn't have the wine charms and it will wash off. So just keep that in mind. I think it's a good product. I think they need to re-market it. I think they need to, um, I don't want to tell them that. I think they need to maybe change what these are best for because they're a good product. They're just not great for what they're advertising them. Now, I think for fun, let's just grab some water-based markers. Let's grab some like Tombow's and see what they will do with those. I should have grabbed them ahead of time. I didn't, I didn't really think of it. So I've got a couple of Tombos here. Uh, I love my Tombow markers. I, and some, the ones with the red tape on them, if you ever see those in videos, these I bought secondhand like 10 years ago at a stamper yard sale. So it's like, man, these are, these just take a look in and keep on ticking. They're just so great. Um, I love the storage. I think the storage is really nice. Let's see, let's do, Let's say I'm coloring a greeting card image and I want to do some blending. These remind, you know what these remind me of? These remind me of the Winsor & Newton pigment markers, but they flow better and they're way cheaper. Yeah, I mean like you could blend these out. I could probably take a lighter Tombow marker or even like a, let's even try like a uh, real brush pen. Yeah, if you're like, if you love using water-based markers, I think you could use those all together and and have a lot of fun with them. Uh, let's try blending out with some white. You can get some beautiful gradients with this white pen. I hope they sell like a pack of three of the whites or something. That's another thing I'm gonna mention to them. I'm gonna write that down right now. <laughs> sell pack of three. I'm gonna write, I'm just gonna suggest that to them because I think that would be really nice. Cause I know with like their oil pastels, they sell like packs of six of just white oil pastels. Um, let's, oh, that's not even as dark as I thought it was going to be. Now let me blend that up with a lighter color. These are not the same undertones, but you know, we'll get the gist. Oh, actually though, they mix together. Oh guys, if you were like a stamper and you like to work on craft cardstock and you stamped a picture and you did your your shadows with like the uh, the darker, like your ink markers, like your Tombows and you blended it out with these, that would be so pretty. And one thing I like about these is that, you know, sometimes um, like a an ink marker, like a, a water-based marker can kind of pill cardstock and stuff because these have more body to them and they're very, it almost feels like there's glycerin in it or something that's lubricating the, the nibs. I don't think you'd get that pilling issue and it'd be opaque. That would be really cool on, um, on craft cardstock. So yeah, I mean, I like these. I I think they're they're a good product. I just don't think they are. I don't think the way they're advertising it is the best because um, yeah, they're not waterproof. They're not waterproof. They might be waterproof on like a piece of regular typing paper, but when would you get that wet <laughs> to put it to the test? Uh, but as far as an art medium or crafting like a, a stamping medium, scrapbooking things like that, yeah, I think working this on paper, using it in mixed media, you're getting a lot of fun with it. Um, but just don't buy it thinking you're getting some waterproof paint pen. It's not going to replace your Posca's because it's not going to give you that all surface coverage, water permanent waterproof coverage that you would generally find in an acrylic paint marker. So, um, so yeah, that's my verdict. I like them. I think it's a great product. I don't think that it is what is advertised though. So, um, I'm going to let the company know that maybe by the time this video comes out, it'll be changed on Amazon. I have no idea, but I, I found that this company to be a pretty reputable company and to listen to feedback and to be, um, 
to be all around pretty upstanding and to stand by the product. So uh, I'm not I'm not saying it's not what it is advertised to like, you know, be salty and trash anybody, but I'm just saying that it doesn't do what it claims. It's supposed to do, it does other things really good though. So with that, I will leave you to it and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this something you'd be interested in trying? Have you tried this? Um, what do you think? These are fun. I want to use these with my Tombos and uh, use them more as like a mixed media or a crafting product, but not a crafting, like not a waterproof crafting product, not a crafting with my kids product, a kind of grown up stamping type crafting product. So with that, have a great day. Please give me a thumbs up before you go if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, happy crafting.